so so you say you want to make it to the kingdom right so you go to church or you been going to church you still go to church okay occasionally all right so do you understand that you have two choices a blessing and a curse you can either be walking in the blessing you walking in the curse that's right Right? Give me 11 and 26 again. So, my, my question to you, just, just real quick. So, it, have your pastor taught you this? Or do he just teach you you just got to believe in Jesus, have faith in, 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 in he died, and you need to have faith, and with faith, you can be saved? Hang it up. Kind of, sort of, right? Okay. So, let me ask you a question like I asked the other brother. Do you love God? You do love God. So how do you love him? How do you show him love? How do you personally show God love? You praise him? That's how you show him love? What if I told you that's not how he wants you to show him? That he, he got a specific way he wants you to show him. What's going on, brother? What's your name? What's your name? I can't hear you. Blaine? Wayne. Okay, okay. So same question to you. You do you do you you believe in God, right? Huh? Do you love him? Okay. So she said she prays him. That's how she loves him. So how do you how do you show specifically yourself? How do you show God you love him? Bring it up. I can't hold you. By believing in him, reading the scripture, and what else? In church. Okay. So, if I told you right now today that the way y'all love him is not specifically the way he want to be do he want you to do it. That's right. But because y'all say y'all love him, so I'm going to believe in y'all heart y'all really do love him and y'all going to want to love him the right way, right? So... Do you feel like if I told you right now today how you really love him that you think you can do it? Bring it up. Or that you would have it in your spirit and your will to try to love him the way he say to love him? Bring it up. Not the way we think or somebody else taught us to love him? Right? Okay. Read this. This is the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. For what? For this is the love of God. For what? For this is the love of God. So y'all believe in the Bible, right? This is the King James Version. You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible, right? Read it from the top again. Book, verse, again. So you know this is coming from the Bible. So this is God's word. You say you love him and you believe in this Bible. So I'm not trying to get you to do something that's not coming from something that you said you just believe, right? right. Read. This is the book of First John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it out. For this is the love of God, that we do his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. So it basically just told you, if you want to love God, you keep his commandments. That's right. It ain't about just praising him. It ain't about just going to church. It ain't about just believing him. That's right. He a man of action. That's right. So if you love him, he says, show me. That's right. And how you show me is you keep the commandments. That's, That's right. right. Right? So read, uh, yeah, read it. Book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 11, verse 26. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. So when he say, always when he say this day, he mean it every day. That's right. From this time in his Bible to today, any time throughout generations, when he say this day, mean it's a day. So you have all day to walk in righteousness, to seek his face. That's right. If you go to fall asleep and you wake up in the morning, he's giving you another day to walk in the blessing or to walk in the curse. That's right. right? So he said, I'm giving you this day a choice. Will you walk in the blessing or do you want to be cursed? See, people think curse means are you gonna walk around and you're gonna look like a zombie or uh 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 one of your eyeballs falling out or something like that. No, that's not what cursed is. You know what I'm saying? Our whole people are cursed. Yeah. Meaning we're on the bottom. That's Meaning right. we have to go to uh, our enemy for everything we have. That's right. You don't really own anything. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Well, you go to the, you, when you go to work, both of y'all got jobs, you got jobs, right? So when you get paid, what do you do with your money? Bring it out. 
Do you get to do what you you you, you start signing automatically? Do you get to do everything you want to do with your money? What do you do with your money? You get it back. You go work for them, then take it right back to the companies and give it all right back to them. That's right. Right? right? Did you know the Bible said that was going to happen? Right? You go to church? You go to church? Why your pastor ain't never taught you that? Right? That would give you a better understanding of who you are and what you need to be doing to get back on the right track if you knew that. That's right. But see, we thinking that this is just normal. My grandmama did it. My grandmama, granddaddy did it. My mama, my mama did it. Now it's just time for me to do it. That's just that's just continued slavery. That's all that is. That's right. It's generational curses. That's right. Right? Finish reading that. A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. So in order to be blessed, you got to keep the commandments. That's right. You got to do what the commandments say. So you say you're reading your Bible, but are you getting any understanding from the Bible is what it is. Because it's not to be just read like a novel. You understand? There's understanding in it. But you can't go off of your own understanding. Give me something nine two or one. You can't go off of your own understanding. Right? Bring it up. So you have to congregate with others that have the understanding of the Bible. That's right. Right? And it's not in the Christianity church. I just pulled a couple of scriptures. You said, you know, you, you it, it's like foreign to you, right? Bring it up. Right? Read. And a curse, and a, what? and a curse, and a, what? and a curse, if ye will not obey the commandments. So, how many commandments do you know? Right? How many do you know? So, read that, that last sentence again. And a curse, if you will not obey the commandments. So, you curse if you don't know the commandments. That right. So, you curse without even really knowing it. You don't understand going to work every day and have to give all your stuff back to them. Give me Deuteronomy on uh, twenty eight forty eight and give it all your money back. I want to come to your church. You did you get a, did you get a uh, what's the name? You got so the address is on there, so it's going to be on you. We got classes on Wednesdays and Saturdays. That's right. On the Sabbath. So brother. Yeah. Uh huh. So brother. So you don't even realize you curse That's because right. they make us think we blessed because we just living. They make us think we blessed because we got cold clothes on our back. That's they make right. you think you blessed because you got a, a place to stay. That's right. Do you know this whole world was free? They put a price on everything. Water ain't supposed to cost you. Bring it up. The water is from the land. That's right. But what they did was they switched it around and said they own everything. So now the free water you got to pay for. It. Where you live at, you got to pay for it. Bring it up. Right. So. What it is, give me a uh, uh, four and six. Uh, Hosea four and six. Bring it up. So what happens is, brother, just like you said, in your what's name, we 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 are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's right. The Bible says it. Everything and anything you can think of, the Bible has the answer to it. It can bring it out to you. Did you get that? Read this. Okay. Book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. We are destroyed because we have no knowledge. That's right, right. Because what we do is don't read the book ourselves. We go in the church. Do you know most churches are owned by the, uh, uh, belong to 501c3? That's that right. means they're owned by the government. That means the government right. dictates what they teach you. That's right. That's why they're not going to teach you that you're an Israelite. That's right. Right? Do you believe that you're an Israelite? You do? Right. So, give me a Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So, you have to understand that God had requirements for us as Israelites. That's right. Right? So, once you understand you're an Israelite, the next thing for you to do is walk into walk into the light. That's right. You got to become a light. Right? Like these right here, these fringes, this is a commandment of God right. for us to wear. So, that we know we can recognize each other also that this let us know in remembrance of his laws, statutes, and commandments, that's right? right? That's why we wear these. And he said to wear these throughout your generations. That's right. Right? Read this. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require thee? You say you read your Bible. When you read your Bible, you're going to notice now, because you, well, I'm telling you this, he references Israel all through the Bible. That's right. Because that book was only written to us, that's the 12 right. tribes. This is not everybody's book. This is not an Asian book. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The problem is everybody else 
they have other gods. That's, That's right. why they come up with all these other different religions because they know that this is not their God. That's right. We're the only people that don't know that this book was only written for us That's and right. he only our God. That's right. Right? We're the only people that don't know that. They kept it from us. That's right. Right? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. You got to fear God. That's why he tell you don't have no other God before him and to fear nothing else. That's he right. says you should fear nothing in this world but him. Because he controls it all. Right. So when you fear something else, you're giving it power. Bring it out. So that's making it a God. That's, that's making right. it an idol. Read. To walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God. And he says that to love him. What did we say love was? Keep his commandments. That's okay. right. Read. Thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. For your good. Because when you keep those commandments, you're going to be walking in the blessing. Right. And he's going to be walking with you. When you're not, he's not. He's, you're not going to have fight, favor in his eyes. That's right. right? So you got to keep the commandments. Give me Acts uh, 3 and 19. The first thing, so now you say you believe that you're an Israelite, right? First thing you have to do is repent. That's right. That's right. Everything that you're doing that's not right. Read. This is the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Yeah. Repent, you therefore. Do what? Repent, you therefore. Do what? Repent, you therefore. Read. And be converted. That your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So you have to repent. Go to God and tell him, ask him for forgiveness for what you for all your sins so that you can be converted. That's right. Right? And then he's gonna blot them out. You're gonna be a new. You're going to be a new person. That's right. Right? Now, when you sin willfully, it's like death. So what you do, you got you to gotta diligently try not to do the same thing over and over again because you already repented for it. Right? right? But every day is the self-examination. You got to right. think to yourself, what did, I, what did I do today? Was I walking in uh, God's commandments and doing what he expects me to do every day? That's right? right? Read this. The book of Psalm right. chapter 5, verse 7. Right Make no turning. It means don't waste any time. That's right? right? Read. To turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day.